Hey, what's up everyone? It's Cousin Ryan. Uncle Joel. And this is a little bit uh, out of sync for what we normally do on Saturday mornings. It is Thursday morning and a lot can happen between now and tonight, but the plan is to go see Toy Story 4 this evening when it, uh, when it opens. So what better way to honor that than to try the Toy Story 4 cereal. Um, yeah. Do you have anything you want to add before we... We're going to start... We've got a stack of cereals that we want to try, and it would be, I don't know, months and months. And we, we're, so we're going to... Did I just cut myself on that? <laughs> uh, we're going to kind of get out of sync here and do some cereal reviews, uh, not always on Saturday mornings. Probably throw some Sundays in there and maybe some other special occasions like this, but... No. That's the plan. Just we want to get through this stack of cereal boxes that we've got. <laughs> I already smell the fruitiness. Did you smell that? Oh wow. It yeah. smells very fruity. It like permeated the bag. They win. That's good. Alright. Right off the bat, I'm looking at this, and this is one of those, like, the actual product does not match yeah. the picture on the box. I mean, the picture on the box, it looks very colorful, and these little pieces, even the little colored dots on them are not, uh, I mean, you can hardly even see them. Yes, yeah, so like, this one has three dots on it, and most of them are not like jutting out like they're on it it's yeah. more just like colored on carnival berry that's what <laughs> this is called is it a kind of fruit that only grows in carnivals or? it is say when that's good that wasn't when uh, Tuesday alright okay here we go here we go The cereal was ridiculously hard to find, by the way, or to get a hold of. Joel first uh, told me about it, what, like over a, was it a month ago you first saw it? And then it was like almost a month before I ever found it uh, on the shelves. Very f berry flavor is more subtle than I was expecting. It's kind of blah. I mean, it's not bad. I don't think it's bad, but it's just not good either. You know what I mean? At least I'm not a fan of it. After one bite. It's strange with how strong the berry scent is. Mm -hmm. How the flavor is just bland. It's all in the scent. Yeah. It's really weird. No, you're right. Well, I'm going to feed mine to Slimer over here. I'm not... Like I said, it's not bad. It's not bad. However, it's just not good. I could finish it, but I'd never have a desire for more. Right. Yeah, I agree. So funny story, when I did finally find this, I actually saw a box in the shopping cart. This mom and her two kids were shopping at Target. And I had already been up and down the cereal aisle and couldn't find it. And I was like, oh my gosh, there it is. So I asked... Uh, the lady, I said, excuse me, where, where'd you find the Toy Story 4 cereal? And instantly, her youngest kid was like, no, I want it! And I was like, whoa, whoa, kid, I don't want your cereal. I'm just curious where I can find my own. Um, but anyway, this box was like knocked over sideways. and I had looked right at it and didn't even see it. I mean, it, it was like stuffed anyway. Um, little story about <laughs> finding this. Um, anyway, mine's going to Slimer. Yeah, I'll finish the bowl and not have another. Yeah. Well, I hope the movie's better than the cereal. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, a lot can happen between now and tonight, so if things go as planned, we'll see it. We'll put up a little review this evening, but you never know. Yeah. Life's crazy like that. Um, 
anyway, uh, there's our thoughts on Toy Story 4 cereal. I'm not super thrilled. Uh, Joel is thrilled enough to finish the bowl, and that's it. So, anyway, yeah. hopefully we'll talk to you tonight. Catch you then.